as you can see the video is about animals who can communicate through infrasonic messages in this video we are going to see some animals who have the super power to communicate with each other in infrasonic sound also we are going to know about some incidents of how we got to know about them so without further ado let's start the video africa is a very beautiful place which is filled with so many types of beautiful and exotic flora and fauna the wildlife is filled not only with many types of amazing animals and plants but also many secrets too there was an idea or you can say fallacy about one of these animals people believed that giraffe can't produce sounds they are mute animals giraffe live on open plains and having acute eyesight can see one another very easily so they don't need to vocally communicate with each other but this myth got busted when some researchers have heard giraffes talking by recording them and listening in infrasonically this proof followed the discovery that the okapi can also communicate infrasonically okapi is a short necked cousin of the giraffe they are native to the densest jungles of congo the case of the okapi happened like this some researchers were doing research on the hearing of rhinos at san diego zoo when accidentally they recorded one of the zoo's okapis the okapi was vocalizing at frequencies as low as 7 hertz this was and is below the frequency that leopards and other predators of the jungles of Congo could hear to make you people understand how amazing this is let me give an example the average range of sound audible to humans is between 20 to 20000 hertz which is known as the sonic range in childhood humans may hear sounds above 20000 hertz whereas in old age the upper limit is often below 10000 hertz fun fact studies in pigeons have shown that they can hear sounds with frequencies as low as 0.1 hertz sounds below the audible range of human hearing are called infrasonic using infrasonics okapis and giraffes can communicate over great distances through thick vegetations free from detection by predators in case of pigeons they not only can hear as low as 0.1 hertz sounds but according to Jonathan Hagstrom of the US Geological Survey the birds also use sound maps there is a link at the description below where you can learn more about Mr Jonathan's theory the first mammals which have been discovered communicating with each other infrasonically were elephants in 1981 Kansas University scientists Dr. Ricky Hefner and Dr. Henry Hefner were surprised to discover that elephants could detect sound frequencies as low as 17 hertz which were less than 20 hertz so it's infrasonic in May 1984 animal sounds specialist Dr. Catherine Payne from Cornell's laboratory of ornithology was visiting Portland's Metro Washington Park Zoo when she experienced a bizarre sensation which she later described in a National Geographic article in August 1989 while observing three Asian elephant mothers and their calves she repeatedly noticed a palpable throbbing in the air like distant thunder yet all around her was silent later she realized that the sensation reminded her of standing next to the largest organ pipe when she was a choir girl in Ithaca, New York, while the organ blasted out the bass line in a Bach choral. Dr. Payne 
suspected that the elephants were the source of the palpable throbbing atmosphere. So she teamed up with fellow coronal biologists to make recordings of the Jews' elephants. These recordings, when analyzed, revealed that within one month, 400 separate calls had been recorded, which is three times the number of calls heard by the researchers in the sonic range. Analysis showed that the elephants emitted short calls at a frequency range of 14 to 24 hertz, which lasted for 5 to 10 seconds over a period of 10 minutes. The discovery of this unsuspected talent solved an age-old behavioral mystery of how elephants could coordinate the movements of a herd which is spread out over a large area. Since infrasonic travels over long distances, it is very helpful in this regard. Subsequent studies have shown that elephants in Africa can hear a call from as far away as 4 km during the day, whereas in the evening this range can increase to up to 10 km as a result of temperature inversions in the atmosphere that makes sound travel farther. Several other herd mammals of Africa are now known to communicate with each other in infrasonically, including rhinoceros and hippopotamus. Several large reptiles such as alligators and crocodiles also have this super power of infrasonic messages. Some sea creatures also have this amazing power. One of them is Belin Whale. The low frequency calls of the Belin Whale may travel over many hundreds of miles. Sound waves moves through water at about five times the speed they pass through air. So these infrasonic messages can carry much farther than they would on land. This way, Belin whales can communicate over long distances. To date, the species shown to be able to hear sound at the lowest frequency is the pigeon. So this was it. Animals who have superpower to hear infrasonic level sounds which are below human ears capacity of 20 Hz. If you have liked the video then you can press the like button, smash that subscribe button and ring that bell icon so that you can get notifications of these kinds of videos instantly. If you have any new information or anything to say then write at the comment section. I will meet you amazing people in my next video. So until then stay safe and clean everyone.